Okay, this time we're going to talk about the winged blood collection set, or it's also commonly called as a butterfly. There's different name brands out. Um, we have different styles, different packaging, so you want to make sure that you choose the right one that suits your patient. With this patient, I'm going to choose to go with the 23 gauge needle. There's also the 21 gauge needle if you have larger veins that could support it. But with this one, like I said, I'll go with the 21 gauge needle. Uh, I've already asked the patient for consent. He's given me consent. I've gathered all my supplies, have my gloves, have my biohazard bag, clean tourniquet. I'll need a holder for my wing collection set, have my alcohol pads, have my gauze, and I have my tape. One of the things you want to go ahead and do is, of course, pull off a piece of tape, put an edge on the corner, all right, and then you can go ahead and begin to look and palpate or palpate. You want to apply your tourniquet about two to four inches where you plan to draw. You want to make it snug. Be sure not to let it roll in the back. It's still flush in the back. All right, and what you want to do with a, when you're doing a hand draw of a butterfly, sometimes you need to kind of bend their hand a little bit. And as you can see, it makes the veins more prominent. If at this point, as you have the patient's hand bent a little bit, and it's still not much, you can take an alcohol pad to help bring these veins out. Now keep in mind, this does not count as cleansing your patient. It just simply makes the veins a little bit more accessible. And as you can see, the veins are popping right out right now. With this patient, I'm gonna go right through here. Okay, and at that time, we'll release our patient from the tourniquet, because as a new phlebotomist, we cannot meet our 60 second goal. I'll go ahead and assemble my needle. You want to make sure that your package is in date. If it was out of date, there's a good chance your needle would no longer be sterile. So tear this one open. Now, every different manufacturer has different ways. This tube, this brand right here, has a piece of tape holding the tubes together. You just simply tear it apart, stre stretches out. Throw this in the regular trash. And as a phlebotomist, you need to be aware when you're drawing your tubes, if you use a wing collection set, there is 0.5 milliliters blood left in the tubing. So take that into a factor if you're doing a calculated draw. Also, I want to check and make sure that my lure adapter is tightly twisted into the tubing. Make sure that everything's good on my needle. Remove the sheath from the multi-sample end and attach my holder and twist tightly. Okay, and at this time, go ahead and cleanse our patient with our gloves on. Okay, have my gloves. I'm gonna to go to my center point of where I plan to insert my needle. Start in a circle, moving inside out pushing the dirt away. You want to do this in about a two inch pattern. Okay. And your used alcohol pads can go in the regular trash. Okay. Have my tubes ready this time. Doctors just ordered one serum tube. Make sure it's good in date. This tube's good until December of 2013. And it's currently June, or excuse me, July. So we have about six or seven months left. Five months left, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and reapply my tourniquet. When we reapply our tourniquet, this will be the very last thing we do because obviously we just have 60 seconds. Okay. And go ahead and grasp the hold of your patient a little bit. And you remove the sheath from the end. You'll want to put the texture ends of the butterfly in between your fingers. And with the butterfly, you only need to go 10 to 15 degrees angle of inserting your needle. All right, and warn your patients a little bit ahead of time. This may sting just a little bit more. And on the count of three, we're going to stick our patient. In all actuality, you'll probably want to say one, two, insert, and then say three. That way your patient's not anticipating pain. All right, here we go, one, two, and insert. Okay. And with the butterfly or the wing collection set, 
one of the good things about this is you'll see a flash of blood when you've hit the vein. Sometimes you need to readjust your needle. All right, there's my blood flash. If the, let's see if, if the camera can focus in in here, you see a little flash of tubing, flash of blood in the tubing. And normally I would hold the needle with my dominant hand, but for the sakes of the camera, I'll do this a little bit backwards. All right, so I have my tube inserted. And we'll go ahead and fill up our tubes. When using a wing collection set or a butterfly needle, the blood flow will be a little bit smaller or slower because the needle is smaller. So be patient. It's always important to fill our tubes completely. All right. And we'll go ahead and say that our, our tube is full. Release the tourniquet. Disengage our tube. Grab our gauze, fold over once, fold over twice. Pull our needle out using the tabs and cover. You want to hold pressure just for a couple of seconds. While you're doing that, you can go ahead and activate your safety feature. Sometimes you, need, you can do this with one thumb. And on this one, you pull the plastic sheath over the noodle and pull the wings back and it locks in place. Ask your patient to hold the dressing just for a second and immediately take this to the biohazard box. We never sit used needles down. Grab your piece of tape. Go ahead. All right, you can remove your finger and bandage the patient. Invert your tube three to four times, making sure you're mixing the chemicals with the blood. And you'll go ahead and put the patient's name on here, today's date and time, their initials. And then at that time, you'll go ahead and place your, your lab bag with the biohazard symbol and transport this to the lab.